Hello, good evening. Hello, teacher, good evening. Hello, Juan, hello, Emma, hello, Carla, hello, Beatriz, how are you tonight? How are you? I'm very good, hello. thank you. And you, how are you? Me, I'm good, teacher. Okay, that's nice. How was your Monday? ¿Cómo estuvo su lunes? How was your Monday, Edma? Was it good, bad, excellent, perfect? It was great. How was Hi, it? Um, uh, it's fine. Ah, oh, it was it was fine, perfect. Hello, Carla. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Good evening. And Alejandra. Good evening, Alejandra. How are you? Hello. I'm fine, and you? Okay. Thanks for asking me. Okay, so welcome to this class. My name is Ever Nieto, right? As you know, I wrote um, some hours before the class on the WhatsApp group, and it's nice to meet you, all of you. So we are going to have a great time learning this beautiful language, which is English. I hope that we get uh, some fun here, and if you have questions, you can ask me. So we are going to have a great time, right, during this hour learning this language. So, vamos a tener un, un tiempo bonito, ¿verdad? Aprendiendo este hermoso idioma. Eh, ¿Cuál es inglés, verdad? Es un gusto de conocerlos a todos. Y qué bueno, ¿verdad? Que han decidido aprender este idioma. Y lo vamos a hacer todos juntos acá, ¿verdad? So, voy a necesitar de su participación, de su ayuda para resolver ejercicios. If you have any questions, si usted tiene alguna pregunta. No duden hacerla, ¿verdad? So, estamos para ayudarnos, ¿verdad? Si usted no sabe algo, probablemente el teacher sepa o uno de sus compañeros lo sabe. Y si no, lo buscamos en el diccionario. Y si no, está Google también, ¿verdad? Para ayudarnos. Así que eh, entre todos tengámonos confianza, ayudémonos entre nosotros y que la clase vaya muy bien. Así que bienvenidos. Para comenzar el día de hoy, voy a recordarles algunos, algunas reglas, ¿verdad? Y información importante que necesitamos seguir durante todo el curso. Voy a compartir la siguiente presentación. Me confirman, por favor, si pueden verla sin ningún problema. Can you see the presentation? Yes, teacher. I can see. Okay, thank you, Juan. So yes. Just a second. Okay, homework and evaluation. Look at this. This is the first topic that I want to talk with you tonight, and it's about homework and evaluation. Es importante, ¿verdad? Es necesario que usted obtenga el 80% en su promedio, ¿verdad? En la plataforma, eh, en las tareas y en las evaluaciones. ¿verdad? En la plataforma tenemos videos informativos, tenemos los objetivos del curso, 
tenemos también uh, las evaluaciones, donde nosotros vamos a estar practicando, ¿verdad? Y poniendo en práctica lo que hemos aprendido durante la clase. Las tareas, como ya les mencioné, se encuentran en la plataforma y se recomienda ¿verdad? que se trabajen en ellas justo después de la clase. Y pueden adelantar contenido. Si hoy vimos, por ejemplo, las primeras dos secciones de la plataforma, usted puede resolver la siguiente ¿verdad? sin ningún problema. Usted puede ir adelantándose a la clase. Y si le van surgiendo dudas, durante la clase usted puede eh, irlas solventando. ¿verdad? Podemos ir ayudándole a solventar esas dudas. Así que no hay ningún inconveniente si usted se adelanta. Si usted se adelanta en los contenidos, no pasa nada. ¿verdad? Está bien. Recuerde que es por lo menos el 80% que tiene que lograr en la plataforma. También mencionarles que no hay ningún problema. Si usted se equivoca en alguno de los ejercicios, puede hacerlo de nuevo. No pasa nada. ¿verdad? El objetivo de la plataforma es que usted aprenda. Etsy. Todas las tareas de los temas ya cubiertos tienen que estar completas ¿verdad? antes de cada viernes a la medianoche, ya que ese registro se envía al INSAFOR semanalmente ¿verdad? para ver su progreso. Vamos a ver. Hello, Byron. Good evening. Welcome to the class. So, si hay algún material de apoyo, yo les voy a decir y se los voy a compartir por el grupo de WhatsApp. Veamos otra información importante. Son las tareas y evaluaciones. Vamos a estar acá cuatro semanas. Son 16 clases. En la semana 1 vamos a ver la sección 1 y sección 2. En la semana 2, sección 3 y midterm. El examen de medio curso. En la semana número 3 vamos a ver la sección número 4. En la semana 4, sección 5 en final exam. Normas de convivencia. Eh, primero, ¿verdad? El, el botón de silencio de la plataforma acá de Zoom tiene que estar pendiente porque a veces este, se oye la novela, ¿verdad? Se oye las noticias, se oye el partido que no estamos perdiendo. ¿verdad? Entonces, eso interrumpe, ¿verdad? Interrumpe o se oye mucha bulla. Eh, solo si usted va a participar, ¿verdad? Eh, puede desmutear. ¿verdad? Eh, hay que estar pendiente de eso. ¿verdad? Eh, su nombre completo, por favor, así como están ahora, Edma Azalia, Alejandra Guevara, Juan Carlos, eh, Carmen Lisset, Emma Yamilet, el nombre completo es importante ¿no? para poder llamarle por su nombre. Eh, cámara encendida, participación activa, el uso de chat, si, se, si tiene alguna pregunta, inmediatamente puede escribirla por el chat o levantar su manita virtual, ¿verdad? Por ahí tienen la opción para poder levantar su manita si ustedes tienen alguna duda y poder ayudarles. Y siempre mantener el respeto entre nosotros. You can call me ever, you can call me teacher. Eh, quiero preguntarles algo. ¿Quieren que lo llame por su nombre? La Emma Yamilet, Carmen Lisset o Miss Emma, Miss Carmen. ¿Cómo prefieren? ¿Por su nombre? Yes. Um, a mí esta vez sí me dice Alex. Ah, ok, perfecto. Ok, veamos otras. No olvidemos entonces estas normas de convivencia. Y aquí están las políticas de asistencia. ¿verdad? Tiene que asistir por lo menos al 80% de las clases virtuales. Y eh, no se pierda ninguna. ¿verdad? Si puede, haga lo posible de no perder ninguna clase. Yo sé que a veces se nos va la luz en la casa, eh, se roban el cable del internet y nos dejan sin internet, pero solo en caso extremo, ¿verdad? Eh, de lo contrario, haga lo posible de estar en las, en las secciones virtuales, ¿verdad? Ok, everybody say by my name, call me by my name, Byron, Carmen, ok. Then we are going to do in this way. So the start of the classes is so today. La, el horario establecido es de 8 de la noche a las 9, ¿verdad? 60 minutos es la duración de la clase. 
no olvide el avance y el desarrollo de la plataforma. ¿verdad? Hay que ir avanzando en esa plataforma desde hoy que empezamos. ¿verdad? Quiero preguntarle si ya pudieron ingresar a la plataforma de inglés corporativo. Ya todos Yo pudieron. Sí. Yo sí, sí puedo sí. entrar anoche. Ok, ¿alguien ha tenido algún problema? ¿Algún inconveniente? Estamos para ayudarle. Usted solo escribe en el grupo de WhatsApp. Mire, yo no puedo ingresar a mi plataforma. No sé cómo hacerlo. And we are going to help. Es importante que empecemos a trabajar desde ya, ¿verdad? Porque a veces eh, lo vamos dejando para última hora. Y decimos, ah, el jueves lo voy a hacer. El viernes lo voy a hacer en el día. Y cuando ya es el viernes a la medianoche, uff, nos falta un montón de ejercicios, ¿verdad? Y nos frustramos y ya no queremos hacerlos. Entonces es mejor irlo haciendo ¿verdad? en su debido momento. Si no, al final nos va a tocar una maratón, ¿verdad? Escribiéndole al teacher como a las 3 de la mañana. Mire, ayúdeme en este ejercicio de aquella mañana, es la fecha. Y entonces nos vamos a desvelar juntos ahí resolviendo la plataforma en el último día. Eh, vamos haciéndolo en su debido momento ¿verdad? para que al final no se nos acumule ese trabajo. Si no, vamos a sentir bien pesado después. Y al final, pues usted va a obtener su diploma, ¿verdad? Que lo va a acreditar como um, un estudiante que aprobó el curso principiante número 3. ¿verdad? Do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta hasta este momento? Teacher. Yes. Y si, o sea, en la plataforma se trabaja antes, o sea, no importa. No hay ningún problema. Usted puede avanzar tanto como quiera. ¿no? Si usted me dice, teacher, ya, mire, yo me emocioné y resolví tres secciones. Resolví eh, la mitad de la plataforma. Hasta allá hice el examen de medio curso. Perfecto, no hay ningún problema, ¿verdad? Al contrario, vale, usted ya va, ya va quedando tranquilo usted de ese trabajo. Y si tiene alguna duda, eh, estamos para ayudarle. No importa en qué sección vaya. Usted me puede preguntar y yo con gusto le voy a ayudar. Va, está bien. Gracias. Ok. Any other question? Y para esta semana, teacher, serían mm, dos de una vez. Porque veo que son cinco y son cuatro semanas, dos apartados. Sí, tendríamos que hacer dos apartados esta semana. Y la siguiente sería la número 3 y el midterm, el examen de medio curso. Uh, ok, thanks. Any other question? Do you have any other question? Any other doubt? Let me know, please, if you have any question. No more question. Ok, if you don't have any other question. So just don't forget, right? if, you need help, if you need any help, I am here to help you. I am going to be happy to help you. You can write on the WhatsApp group, and as soon as I can, I'm going to answer. Tan pronto como yo pueda, le voy a responder. ¿no? Así que puede escribir, ¿verdad? ¿no? Escriba ahí cualquier duda que tenga, cualquier problema. Va a ser un gusto poder ayudarle. Don't forget about that, please. So let's start with tonight's class. Today we are going to study this topic. When is your birthday? Do you like birthday parties? ¿Le gustan las fiestas de cumpleaños? Do you like birthday parties? Yes, I do. No, I don't. Do you like birthday parties? Yes, I do, teacher. I like it. Yes, I do. Okay, yes, that's I excellent. Do. And we like it most when it's our birthday, right? Cuando nos toca a nosotros recibir todos los regalos, todos los abrazos, todos los apapachos. So I want to know when is your birthday? Present, right? Present is the most important thing as a birthday. Do you agree? Los regalos son la cosa, la mejor cosa de los cumpleaños. What do you think? Tell me. Do you agree? Uh, for me, the person teaching. Okay. 
So when is your birthday? Look at this question. When is your birthday? What's the meaning of when? Do you know the meaning of this WH word when? Who knows? Who knows the meaning? Hello, Cristina. Welcome to the class. Oh, thank you. I'm sorry I'm late. Don't uh, worry about that. Thank you. Okay, now what's the meaning of this WH word when? Nobody knows the answer. When it means, ah, okay, thank you so much. When is your birthday? So we are going to learn how to answer this question tonight. And let's start with this. We are going to need this information. Months, do you know the months of the year? How many are they? Who knows? Who knows? Okay, we have 12 months, yes. So which is the first one? Which is the first one? January. Okay, thank you. Yes, you're right. This is the first one, January. What is the second one? Who wants to help me? February. February. Yes, February is the second one. And March. the next March. Yes, March. you're right, March. What's the next one? April. April. Excellent. In the next? May. 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 May, the one who, what is almost to finish, right? Sí. Ya, mañana, ya mañana se termina May. And we are going to start which month? June. 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 And after June, we have? July. 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 The next? August. 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 Okay, we are, we are going to have vacation on August. September. 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 What's the next one? October. October. November. November. Okay. November. And then we have December. Okay, what is your favorite month? What is your favorite month? April. My favorite, my favorite month is uh, December. Okay, why December? Because of the panel con chumpipe teacher. Because uh, <laughs> the holidays. Okay, the holidays, right? Christmas. Holidays, Christmas. <laughs> yeah, Christmas. And New, Year. and New Year's Eve. Yeah, they are great parties, right? Nice holidays. Any other answer? What is your favorite month? Let me ask this to somebody here. I'm going to choose, let's see, Carla Flores. What is your favorite month? November. Oh, November. Is it because it is your birthday in November? Yes, I'm a daughter, daughter and two. Oh, and your daughter too, okay. Yes. Okay, let's see, Cristina Calderon. What is your favorite month? What is your my favorite, favorite month? month is September because it's my birthday. Okay, that's perfect. So we are going yes. to receive present on September. Nice. And Karen Lobo, <laughs> what's your favorite month? My favorite month is Ever. December. Okay, we have to Karen, Karen Lopez and Karen Lobo. Oh, interesting. So <laughs> we got confused. I'm sorry. So let's see. Karen Lopez, you say December. And Karen Lobo? And it's in February. Okay, nice. So let's listen the pronunciation of these months. How we are going to pronounce these? Months. Can you listen? Let me know if you listen the audio, please. Months. January. February. Uh, can you tell me if you can listen? Yes, teacher. Okay, so yes, let's teacher. listen. Months. January. February. March. 
April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. De okay, any volunteer? Any volunteer to say the first fourth, the fourth month of the year? Los primeros cuatro. Any volunteer? January, February, March, April. Thank you, Edma. That was perfect. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to read the other four? May, Jan, July, August. Thank you so much, Carla. And then the team. ¿Quién levantó su manita? Beatriz, can you help me with the last four months of the year, please? September, October, November, December. Okay, excellent. Thank you so much. So we have January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. So this is the first thing we need to answer the question, when is your birthday? We also need the following numbers. So let's go with the next slide and we are going to Months. see this. Okay, ordinal numbers, which are they? Do you know ordinal numbers? ¿Cuáles son los números ordinales? One. First, oh. first, first, second, first, second third, 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 fourth, fifth. Okay, right. yes, you're right, Byron. Those are the ordinal numbers, right? The ones that express an order. So we say primero, segundo, tercero, cuarto, quinto, etc. So we say first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seven, eight, nine, ten. So let's start with the first ten. So here we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth, fifth. sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. We have here from the first to tenth. Del primero al, how do you call this ordinary number in Spanish? Decimo. Oh, thank you so much. You're right, decimo. So look at this, the abbreviation. Pay attention to the abbreviation, please. Uh, first, second, and third, they are different from the rest. Right? Las letras que aparecen en la vibración son las dos últimas letras del nombre. So first, we have ST. Second, we have ND. Third, we have RD. And the rest of the numbers, we are going to have TH. So fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. Let's go with the next. From 11 to 20th. We have 11, 12th, 13th, 14th, 15th, 16th, 17th, 18th, 19th, and 20th. And then we have the last one, which is from 21st to 31st. We have 21st, 22nd, 23rd, 24th, 25th, 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30th, and 31st. Let's listen. Let's listen to the pronunciation of this number. Dates. First. Second. Third. Fourth. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, seventeenth, eighteenth. 
twentieth, twenty first, twenty second, twenty third, twenty fourth, twenty fifth, twenty sixth, twenty seventh, twenty eighth, twenty ninth, thirtieth, thirty first. Okay, which one is difficult for you to pronounce? Which one is difficult for you to pronounce? For all um, of them. Um, Tiny Tim? Uh, Treinta? No, no, entiendo como lo dice. It's like 30th. 30th. 30th? 30th. Yes, 30th. 30th. Any <laughs> other? 30th. Any other? 30th. Thirty. 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 Yes, thirty. Thirty. Any other? Which other one is difficult to pronounce? Okay, let's go. Let's make a practice here. We are going to have a practice. Dates. Let's go with this. Let's practice these ordinal numbers. How do you pronounce these number? How do you say this number in English? Eric. Okay. You are close. Eight. Okay. You are close to rate 18. 18th. Let's see the next. How do you pronounce these? 12th. 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 What about the next one? 15th. 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 Yes. Let's see the next. 10th. 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 Let's see the 10th. other one. Twenty. 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 Okay, you are close. Twenty. Oh, Twenty. 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 Let's see the next. Oh. You see it. Twenty first. Twenty first. Twenty first. Twenty first. What about the next one? You said five or fifth. 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 Let's see the next one. Thirty first. Thirty first. Yes, thirty first. Thirty first. The next one. Second. 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 The next. Thirteenth. Yes, thirteenth. Thirteenth. Now the next one. Third. 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 Next. It's an easy one. First. First. Then we have here 18th, 12th, 15th, 10th, 20th, 21st, 5th, 31st, 2nd, 1st, 13th and third. Now let's see how we are going to use it with the mom. So we are going to use it in the next way. Let's continue practicing. Now we are going to practice months and also teacher, teacher, numbers. Excuse me. Yes. Excuse tell me, me, teacher. I have a question. Tell me, the Christina, correct what pronunciation, is the question? The correct pronunciation is 20 or 20. It we can use Bob, right? 20 and 20. You are going to hear both of them. And both are correct. You can say 20 or 20. Okay, thank you. Okay. Any other question? Any other question? Let's continue practicing then. Months and ordinal numbers. How do you say this in English? John 15th. Oh, thank you so much. John 15th. John. 
And the next, how do you say this? January 13. January 13. Yes. Let's see the next. December, December 25th. 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 Okay. December 25th. 25th. Yes. 25th. Fifth. Yeah. Yeah, let's go with the next. May, May. May 11. No. May 11. Yes, May 11. Don't forget yeah. about the sound. At the end, right side. 11th. 13th. 15th. Let's go with the next one. Uh, July, July 20. 20. 20. Is it 20 or 20th? 20. 20th. 20. July 20th. July 20th. Oh, forget it about this. Let's go with this one. September 5th. September 5th. Yes, let's go with the next one. October 5th. October 31st. Uh, what do we celebrate on this date? Halloween. 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 The next one? November 2nd. November 2nd. November 2nd. What do we celebrate in that day? Yeah, los muertos. Yeah, los muertos. Okay. Yeah. All, All Souls Day. All Souls All Day. Day. <laughs> yeah, let's go with the next. March 9th. March 9th. March 9th. Night. March 9th. Night. February 3rd. February 3rd. February 3rd, yes. And the last one. April 1st. April 1st. April 1st. Nice. April 1st. Okay, now we know this information, right? Months and ordinal numbers. How we are going to use them to answer the question, when is your birthday? Let's see this. Okay, the question is, when is your birthday? So we are going to need this, the special day. So, which is your birthday, verb B, the preposition on, month and day. So, look at this example. My birthday is on January 31st. My Second. birthday? Okay. Oh, yes, that is in the Spanish. Thank you so much. So, when is when is your mother's birthday? When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is on December 16th. December. Let's see the third example. When is your father's birthday? Then you say, my father's birthday is on February 20th, 20th. It's on February 20th. So we need to follow this structure to answer this question. The special date, verb B, preposition on, month, and the date. So don't forget about this. We are going to have an exercise later. But before to that, there is another way to answer this question. So when is your birthday? In this option, we are going to just mention the month. We are not going to say the date. Eh, cuando nosotros no queremos decir el día exacto, ¿verdad? Cuando, ¿Cuándo es tu cumpleaños? And you say, it's in January. It's in February. But you don't want to say the exact day of your birthday, then you can use this other structure, a special day, verb B, and the preposition in, plus the month, like in this example. My birthday is in April. When is your mother's birthday? My mother's birthday is in May. When is your father's birthday? 
My father's birthday is in June. So if you use on, si usted utiliza on, usted tiene que decir mes y fecha. Si usted utiliza in, solo el mes. Yes, the month. Is it clear? Do you have any question? Do you have any question about this? No questions? Nobody has a question? That's pretty good. Then let's continue. Let's practice. I need a volunteer who wants to answer this question. When is your wife's birthday? When is your wife's birthday? When is your wife? Mm -hmm. In my case, is my husband is uh, is uh, sorry, sorry. My husband is um John on um tenth. Tenth is correct. Oh yeah, Joel, it's almost correct, right? It's my husband's birthday is on, and you say the um, month and the day. Okay, okay, sorry. Okay, thank you. Good try. Excellent. That was excellent. Thank you. Uh, let's see. Quién está casado acá? Who's married? I am married. I am married. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then let's go with the second one. Here is when is your husband's birthday? When is your husband's birthday? So you say my husband's birthday is on, and you say the month and the date. Any volunteer? Thank you, okay. Karen. Karen Lopez. I don't have hope. So. Ah, okay. Um, my, my husband, uh, Birder, is in October. Okay, that's what's excellent. You use the second, the second way to answer this question. Thank you so much, Karen. Sure. Edma? Sí. Um, my husband birthday is on December 26th. Okay, excellent. Thank you. That was perfect. Thank you so much, Edma. Any other volunteer? When is your husband's birthday? Practice, guy, practice. My husband's birthday is on, you say, month and the date. Nobody wants to participate. Let's go for the next one. Okay. Maybe the next question. My husband's birthday is on May 15. Thank you so much. Excellent answer. Thank you. Let's go for the next question. When is your best friend's birthday? When is your best friend's birthday? My best friend's birthday is on. June 24th. Thank you so much. Very good answer. My best friend's birthday is in January. Thank you. That's another good answer. Any other volunteer? When is your best friend's birthday? Or maybe you want My to ask. My best friend birthday is on August, is in August. Is in August, perfect. <laughs> August. Is Let's see August. number four. Let's go with number four. When is your brother's or sister's birthday? Any volunteer to answer this question? When is your brother's birthday or when is your sister's birthday? My brother's birthday is um. October 5th. Okay, thank you. 
Any other answer for number four? My mom. My mom. My mother birthday. December. Okay, my mother's birthday is in December. Any other volunteer to answer this question? Help me with this. My, my mother's birthday is in November. Thank you so much. That was a perfect answer. Anyone, the last one, who wants to participate? Teacher. Yes. <laughs> My my sister's birthday is um, on Valentine's Day. My sister's birthday is on San Valentine's Day. Do you mean uh, February 14th? February 14th. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Number one. Question number one, when is your wife's birthday? Uh, that is for, let's see, Juan Carlos. When is your wife's, sorry, when is your wife's birthday? Wife, I don't have wife teacher. Ah, okay. You are single. Yes. What about I Eduardo? Am. What about Eduardo Melgar? Are you married or single? Hello, Eduardo. Good evening. Uh, Mary, in Casado. Ah, Mary. Okay. When is your wife's birthday? Uh, my wife's uh, birthday is 20, 20, 25 in February. February 25. Okay. It's on February 25. 25th. 25th. Sorry. 25th. Okay. 25th. Okay. okay, thank you so much. So, when is your husband's birthday? The last volunteer to answer this. When is your husband's birthday? Nobody remember the, your husband's birthday? Let's go with the next one. Let's see, when is your best friend's birthday, Carla Flores? My best, per, best friend's birthday is in April. Thank you so much. So, Fatima Cepeda, when is your sister's birthday? Do you have a sister? Fatima, do you have a sister or a brother? Hello, teacher. Good, good evening. Yes, I have a sister. My brother, my no. My Her, sister. My sister' birthday is on November. Okay. So November, November sixteenth. Okay, my sister' birthday is on November sixteenth. Thank you. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next slide. Thank you for your answer. Thank you for your participation. You did a great job in this exercise. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. I have another one. When is your father's birthday? Any volunteer to answer number six? When is your father's birthday? My father. father, father my, let's listen, Claudia, Rebecca. When is your father's birthday? My father's birthday is in February. Thank you so much. Any other answer? The last answer. No volunteers? Then I'm going to choose someone. Let me see who. Ana Margarita Marquez. When is your father's birthday? Good evening. Hello, my good is, evening. My is your father birthday November. Okay, my father's birthday is in November. Thank you. Thank you so much, Anna. Okay, let's see. Do you know when is Independence Day in El Salvador? 
When is uh, Independence Day in El Salvador? September 15th. September 15th. Okay. And what about Mother's Day? When is Mother's Day in El Salvador? Um, May 10th. May 10th. May 10th, excellent. When is San Valentine's February. Day in El Salvador? February, February, February 14th. 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 Byron, do you have a question? What's your question? Net teacher. Oh, okay, the next one. When is Teacher's Day in El Salvador? April 22nd. June 22nd. June 22nd. No, 22nd. Okay, 22nd. Very good. Let's see the next. When is New Year's Day? Um, January 1st. January 1st. January 1st. And when is Christmas Eve day December in El Salvador? 20, December 25th. 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 Okay. Is, <laughs> is it December 24th or December 25th? December 25th. December 25th is in USA. Um, uh, actually, no, it's December 24th because it says Christmas Eve. Eve means vísperas. So, las vísperas wow. de Navidad son el día. Oh, antes. Es el 24th. Así es. Christmas. Christmas is on December 25th. Oh, 25th. 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 Okay, let's see if you were right. Veamos si estaban en lo cierto. Yes, Independence Day is on September 15th. Mother's Day is on May 10th. Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Teacher Day. Teacher's Day is on June 22nd. And New Year's Day is on January 1st. And Christmas Eve Day is on December 24th. Okay, thank you so much. I can see that you know the holidays in El Salvador. Very good. So any volunteer to read sentence number one? Who wants to read the first example? Independence, independence. Uy, independence. <laughs> por Dios. Okay, okay. Pronúncelo, por favor, teacher. Keep, keep calm and start again. <laughs> independence Day is on September 15th. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cristina. Quise decirlo muy a la, a la ligera, por eso. Okay, keep calm, keep calm and start again, right? Keep calm and relax, digan. Okay, thank you so much, Cristina. Uh, the second one, any volunteer to read the second example? Mother's Day is on May 10th. Thank you, Emma, that was perfect. Uh, number three, any volunteer? San Valentine's Day is on February 14th. Thank you so much, Edma. Juan Carlos, can you help me with the next one, please? Number four, teacher. Yes, please. Teacher, day is on 22nd. Uh, can you read it again? Teacher, day, number four. Teacher, day is on June 22nd. Yes, thank you so much. Excellent. Okay. Uh, number five, any other volunteer to read number five? New Year's Day is on January 1st. Thank you, Byron. That was excellent. And number six, the last one, any volunteer? Number six, 
Nobody wants. Christmas Everest Day is on December 2014th, 24th. Thank you so much, Carla. That was excellent. Thank you. Let's see. Okay, we are going to have this small conversation practice. So, read it. So, what is your favorite month? My favorite month is July. Why do you like July? Because the weather is hot and it's my birthday. Nice. My favorite month is August. Why? Do you have a birthday in August? No, but I had vacation. Good reason. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation? There is a new word in this small conversation. No vocabulary question. Let's see, for example, because. What's the meaning of because? Porque. Porque. Okay, and what about the weather? What's the meaning of this word? Clima. 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 Okay. It's hot. Okay, and what about the question why? Por qué? Por qué? Por qué? Excellent. Thank you. And the last expression, good reason. Da, buena razón. Buena good reason. Good reason. Tienes razón. Okay, it's like, esa es una buena razón. Thank you. So I need two volunteers who want to practice in this small conversation. Who wants to practice in this small conversation? I need two people here. Okay. Uh, Edma and Carla, okay? Then okay. we're going to have a Juan. Edma and Carla first, and then Juan. Okay. Can what you is your favorite? Your favorite? <laughs> Perdón. Little <Clear> egg. <laughs> okay, wait a second. Carla, can you please start? And then Edma. Okay. What is your favorite month? My favorite month is July. When do you like July? No, do you like July? Because the okay. weather is hot and it is my birthday. Nice, my favorite month is August. Why do you have a birthday in August? No, but I had vacation. The reason. Thank you. Thank you so much. That was almost perfect. Very good pronunciation. Thank you so much. So vacation, no, but I have vacation. Good reason. Month, my favorite month is August. Um, any other two volunteers? I have Juan. Juan is waiting. Who wants to participate with Juan? Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Thank you, Cristina. So, Cristina and Juan. Can you please start, Juan? Okay. What is your favorite month? My favorite month is July. Why do you like July? Because the weather is hot and it is my birthday. Nice. My favorite month is August. Why? Do you have a birthday in August? No, but I have vacations. Good reason. Thank you so much. Yes, this August, August and vacation. August vacation. Thank you so much. Let's go with the next. I have here another small conversation and say, hey, Sally, will you come to my birthday party? When is your birthday party, Lisa? It's on May 2nd. That's next month. No, it isn't next month. Yes. Yes, it is, Lisa. We are in April and next month is May. Any new vocabulary in this small conversation?
Alexandra, do you have a question? Hello, Alexandra Milena, do you have a question? Tell me, what is your question? Alexandra, you can turn on your microphone and tell me. Teacher, quiero practicar la conversación. Ah, okay. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer to practice with her? Just one. Thank you, Beatrice. So you can start, please. Hey Sally, will you come to my birthday party? When your birthday party? It's on May 2nd. That's next month? No, it isn't next month. Okay. Please listen. We are in April, April, and next month is nine. Right? Okay. Thank you, Alexandra. Thank you, Beatrice. That was an excellent job. Thank you so much. Okay. Now I am pretty sure that you can answer the question when is your birthday? So. We are going to have some volunteers to practice answering this question. So who wants to start? When is your when is your birthday? Who wants to answer the question? Who wants? Who wants to participate? Thank you, Christina. My birthday is on September 24th. Oh, thank you so much. Christina, can you ask to, let's see, Karen Lopez, can you ask the question to Karen, please? My son's birthday is in June. June, okay. Karen, le puede preguntar a alguno de sus compañeros cuándo es el cumpleaños de él? De su compañero, de su papá o de su mamá. Escoja eh. uno. Escoja uno de sus compañeros que están ahí conectados. A Beatriz. Ok, what's the question? When is your mother birthday? I don't remember. Um, is I don't remember. <laughs> my mother's birthday is on, and you say month and day. Yeah, I don't remember day. <laughs> ah, okay, Beatriz, don't worry. Don't worry, Beatriz. It's in the next way. So can you read this whiteboard? Is this is the answer? The question is when? When is when? your mother's mother. birthday? That was the question. Now the answer is my mother's birthday. Birthday is on. on then you December. say. Okay, December. Nine. 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 Okay, this is the answer. My mother's birthday is on birthday. December 9th. December 9th. Okay, thank you so much. Is it easy or difficult? Let's go. Easy. Let's easy. It's kind of easy, easy. right? Okay, so tonight we have learned about the 12 months of the years and also about ordinal numbers. And also we have learned how to answer the question when. When is your birthday? When is your father's birthday? When is your mother's birthday? 
etc. When is your husband birthday? When is your son birthday? Do you have any question about tonight class? So don't forget, please, about the platform. You have to start working on the exercise there. And if you have any questions, please don't forget that you can write on the WhatsApp group. Right? I'm going to be happy to help you. So do you have any other question tonight? No, no teacher. No, no teacher. more question? No teacher. No, teacher. Any questions? Okay, then. I like so much class teacher. Okay, thank you so much, Edma. So I'm going to see you tomorrow at 8 o'clock p.m., right? Bye-bye. Have a thank nice you. night. Good night, bye. everyone. Good night. Bye-bye. It was a pleasure. Good night. Bye.